All right, what's up, everybody? It's your boy Akeem, and welcome to this vlog. Here to give you a college football preview on the Nebraska Cornhuskers for the 2016 college football season. Now, last season they had a new head coach in Mike Riley. He had a coach, new coaching staff as well. Mike Riley led this team to a six and seven overall record. At least they ended up with a season with a uh, Foster Farms Bowl win over UCLA, which was actually uh, leaving the season on a good note. Now, this season they're looking to for much improvement. Last year, in five of those seven losses, the Cornhuskers actually lost by five points or less. So that shows that they keep the games close and I really think it's all on the shoulders of Tommy Armstrong Jr. the senior quarterback for the Cornhuskers. Now they have a good offense they have just about everybody returning as far as the skilled players and their quarterback in Armstrong he needs to do a better job in not throwing as many interceptions as he threw last season. Last year he threw 16 interceptions compared to 22 intercept on 22 touchdowns passes. He needs to do a better job in trying to make better decisions in his throws. Now, he does have to return pretty much the entire offense. His top three wide receivers in Jordan uh, Western Camp, Brandon Riley, and Alonzo Moore. And they have to return the leading rusher in Terrell Newby, who had over 750 yards on the ground last season with 5.2 yards per carry. But I believe that Tommy Armstrong needs to emerge and show that he's a great dual threat quarterback. We do know that he can run the football on the ground. He just needs to make better decisions as far as his passes and just be a little bit more patient and have faith in his receiving core. And with a well experienced receiving core, I do expect this team to improve a lot this upcoming season. Now on the defensive side, there is one particular player that I do like and that is Nate Gary who led the team with four interceptions last season. He is a senior safety who is a, who is as of today a late round pick for the 2017 NFL the draft in my opinion. Now, as mentioned, because they have so many good, great weapons returning and well-experienced offensive players on the offensive unit, I think this team will improve as far as their numbers this upcoming season. I have them going 8-4 and four overall in the record in the regular season, making it to a bowl matchup and possibly going 9-4 and four overall, capping off a decent senior season, a good senior season for Tommy Armstrong and company. Now, the next time I'm going to catch you guys will be later on today. I'm going to catch you actually in, actually in a couple of minutes with more blogs. Thank you for watching this blog. I'm your man, Keem McCall. Be easy.